live at 11.05 on BC. This is Spirit Cars. And we have Josh, the voice of Spirit Cars, behind the camera there. So it has some color. If you want to throw some color in there, we're good with that. Red, blue, <laughs> gray. Red, green, orange. Yeah. We have a yellow one that doesn't need to be. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, well, it's been a crazy day, hectic day. We're getting all excited. We're getting ready for tomorrow. There's going to be a flipping cool car show. It's called Car Craze. And uh, it's in the park in Flippin'. It starts at, I don't know, 9 o'clock or so. And, uh, 10. 10, 10 o'clock. 10 to 3. There's no registration fee. There's no trophies. It's just a, a lot of cars, nice cars, hanging out. But there is door prizes galore. And if you show up, you're probably going to get something pretty nice. We host a valve cover race. That'll be at noon. And last night with the grandkids, I just, uh, oh my goodness, W.C. Field said he hated it was pretty tough, but we built the Soapbox Derby car last night, got it finished this afternoon. I'm going to go, uh, Sophia and maybe Gavin, I don't know, maybe Meredith, we're going to get their rookie licenses. We're going to send them down the hill and see how they do and uh, get them ready for the big race tomorrow too. So I'm going to talk a little bit about frames today. Um, we got a lot of projects going on, but I got a lot to do and, and this, this afternoon I want to do a, uh, a kind of a product preview on uh, on our frame so I figured well we'll do this and then I'll do my product preview right after this and keep moving on one of the main things when you talk about a frame is is the weld I mean the weld has to be tight the weld has to be good you don't want your frame breaking apart it's serious if it breaks apart um, obviously you want your wheels square you want uh, things lined up and everything good that way the brackets in the right, right place but start by getting a good weld uh, to get a good weld, you've got to have a good I'm going to turn the compressor off. We're going to hear it. I'm back. Sorry about that. Quick delay. We're supposed to have everything shut off at lunchtime here, but it didn't quite happen. All right, so to get a good weld, if you want to come in here... And again, everything's straight. To have a jig is really nice. And since we build a lot of a lot of these cars, we built a jig. So what this is is a transmission cross member. And I've got I've got one here. This is just the parts that are cut up. We got a nice nice angles on it, the way they're supposed to be. But if you look in here and you just butt them together, and you put a weld on top of that, you've got three sixteenths of an inch of un welded metal and you've just got a weld on top of that. So to get a good weld you have got to, and what I call V it, you're only going half of it. Um, if I was going to be able to weld both sides of it I would V both sides but you can see when we put the weld in there that weld is going to penetrate all the way to the bottom of the steel. And then again we just put it in in the jig I mean, we do so many of them, it helps to fit things up that way. This is a thing that goes up that puts where the little um, bracket goes to bolt your transmission down and with several different brackets. But a key critical component, if you're going to build your own frame, make sure 